What's up guys, Jerry Rimman back again coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes, where today we're going to talk about that arm swing. Everybody thinks that the swing has to be straight front to back no matter where you're playing on the lanes, but honestly, it's easier to make shots if your swing follows the path that you're trying to throw the ball in. I'm going to demonstrate and kind of show you exactly what I mean here in a minute, so stay tuned. So a lot of people think that when you're going through the approach that your swing should be straight behind you on a straight path all the way through every single time. And this is true. This is the case if we're trying to play straighter. So if we're trying to get from here and we're trying to play straighter up the lane, the swing is going to be straight and all the way through straight back and forth to where you can keep the ball in line. But now what happens if we move our feet to the left? The swing, obviously, our chest faces towards our target. So if I'm targeting 15 right now, the swing is no longer going to be per or perpendicular with the lane. The swing is no longer going to be, I can't, I can't be square here and then try to throw the ball there. That makes a movement that is very difficult to make that not very many people do. You'll notice people like EJ Tackett is very good at swinging it out and then swinging it back in and he can get his direction to go whichever way he wants. But at the same time, pay attention to his shoulders. His shoulders in the center of his chest is still going to be facing his target. So even when he swings it out here and then tucks it back in and then goes this way, his chest is still facing his target, especially once we go this way. Now we're facing even further. We have to be even more open. Our hips have to be open. The swing has to stay this way. And look, now the swing is going to go much further to behind my body. It's not really behind my body because I'm changing my shoulder angle. It's going to stay straight with my body, but it's not going to be straight up and down the lane. Because if I'm trying to curve it from here, I'm going to have a window. I'm going to be this way. See, I can't even keep my balance because now it keeps everything so far over. I'm going to have the window trying to keep this straight going here. I'm going to have that window and the ball's going to get away from my ankle. And then I'm going to try to throw it that way. So my hand's going to be to the outside and it's going to get to the top side of the ball. And that may be one of the keys and the reasons why some of you have such a hard time with curving the ball when you get inside is because you're still thinking of trying to keep the swing straight forward straight back, straight forward, and so then you have no choice but to get to the top side. So I want you to try, the next time you practice, whew, getting out of breath, talking too much. The next time you practice, try and think of keeping your shoulders in the center of your chest facing your target. So that when you get there, now the swing is actually a little bit behind you, but it's still in straight line with the way your shoulders are facing. Open that up and then follow through through to your target. Keep everything facing your target throughout all, all times, even when you go through the entire approach. So we're going to be standing way over here. My chest and my everything is facing towards my target, which means as I swing that ball, my push away goes towards the target and then back this way, not towards the target and then straight. Because this is very, again, very difficult to get back inside and then be able to throw it that way. So keep this in mind. Try this when you practice. It's not going to be an easy thing for you to do, but I promise it'll make your shot making a whole lot better when you do get more natural with it. When you start thinking of your bowling ball going in line with your target, get your shoulders in line with your target, get the bowling ball to follow that swing at that same angle. Hope this helps. Make sure to hit the link in the description, sign up for 10 become a member over there, check out the knowledge base and everything. And don't forget this Wednesday, tomorrow night, we're doing a clinic uh, online. If you're a member, it's free. If you're not a member, it's $9.99. If you're not a member, you might as well join, become a member, and then you get all the clinics for free from that point. So join me tomorrow night. We're going to be here on the lanes talking about practice session, talking about it, the things you have to do in practice, things you can do, the drills you can do to become better. So come see me tomorrow night. I'll be on there. It'll send you a link and we'll be good to go. But sign up over at 10pindoctors.com. Until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.